Number five, business ethics. Let's talk about business ethics. You see, the word ethics refers to standards or set of values that govern and guide the actions and behaviors of individuals within an organization. So when we say there are business ethics, we refer to them as the standards that a business organization has embraced to govern her values, our actions within an organization. Now, business ethics reflect the philosophy of business or which one of the aim is to determine the fundamental purposes of the company. Business ethics, I say, reflect the philosophy of business, which is one of the aims to determine the fundamental purposes of the company. Ethics, as we say, includes the rights, duties between a company, its employees, its suppliers, its customers and neighbors. Business ethics are the operating philosophies that guide the organization's internal conduct as well as its relationship with customers, partners and shareholders. So the underlying factor in business ethics is what we refer to as core values. Any organization that is not hinged on values will not be able to develop optimum results. You will have people challenges, you will have challenges with suppliers, you will have challenges with customers, challenges with the community wherein the organization may be situated. So let me help you here determine how you can craft your core values and I'll show you five ways to craft your core values. Number one, ask that the question, what is important to your company? What exactly is important to you in this business? What are those things that are very important that you consider vital to your organization? You want to list them one, two, three, four, maybe respect, maybe spirituality, maybe integrity, maybe capacity building, maybe diligence, maybe responsibility, maybe discipline. All of those things that are important to you, you list them out. That's the first step. Number two, answer the question, what is unique about working here in this organization? What are those unique selling identities of your organization? You also want to list those things out too. One unique thing about this place is that there is accommodation. So, welfare is top-notch. Alright, you can list all of those things as unique things about working in your organization, for example. Number three, collate all these things you've mentioned, all of the important things in your organization, all the unique things, bring them together. And then choose keywords to reflect the chosen ones. All of these words that you have brought together as important factors in your organization, your unique selling proposition, or your unique values. Number four, get these keywords. What keywords can explain an organization that's interested in helping people excel? Now you look for a keyword that does that. And what you have identified, once you have identified these keywords, maybe they are 10 or 5, I'll suggest you make an acronym out of them. Maybe HERS, H E I R S. Maybe SIM card, S I M C A R D. Maybe F A V O R as in favor. Or maybe scripts as in S C R I P T. Whichever way. You can form an acronym with these keywords that reflect the core values that you have just designed and generated for yourself. Number five, have a list of these core values as well and put them up to be integrated in your vision. And mission statement. Now let me close by letting you know what John Maxwell said about business ethics. He said, there is no such thing as business ethics. It is your personal ethics that finds expression in your business. So ultimately, personal values, those things that you consider to be worth it, those things that you hold in high esteem are the things that will find expression in your organization.